Hi everyone, this video is about finding missing angles in an isosceles triangle with a straight line. This video is very similar to my one that I did on finding missing angles in a scalene triangle with a straight line, except obviously it's with an isosceles triangle. So we're going to use the same method that we did for that one. Um, and obviously if you've watched my video on describing angles in triangles, that will help you as well as we're looking at the angles in an isosceles triangle. So what I've got here is a triangle drawn with the added straight line on. So what we're going to be looking at, we're not going to be looking at finding a specific angle. We're going to be looking at trying to work out all of them. OK, when we know one of them. So here is my pre made triangle from earlier. OK, so what we know about an isosceles triangle is that two angles are the same and one is different. So if we colour it in, OK, first of all, so I'm going to colour in these two angles at the bottom because they are the same. OK, and the top one is different. Okay, so now what I've got to do is I've got to figure out what the colour of this one on the outside would be. Now, this is similar to what we've done when we've been finding angles in a triangle and why they add up to 180. So if you've seen that video, that's um, because when you bring three of these together, they will make a lovely straight line when you bring three of them together so you can see there are two of the same and one different okay so this little bit on the outside here is made up of one of the bottom angles and the top one okay so what I'm going to do now is if I split it doesn't matter how I split it okay and I'm going to color it in so I know that one part of this is green And I know that the other part is orange. So it makes my life easier when I'm trying to work out this outside angle. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at an example. So first of all, I'm going to colour in the angles. So I'm going to colour this one in orange. Obviously, I'm going to colour this one in orange too. And my top on green, because again, we're still working with this isosceles triangle where two angles are the same and one is different. And what I'm going to do now is colour in my outside angle. So if you remember from our triangles, when they came together, the top part, which is the green bit, went here and then the other orange part fitted there. OK. So I'm going to colour that bit in green and I'm going to colour this part in orange. So now I can start doing my labelling. So first of all, I'm going to label what I already know on the diagram. So I know that all the orange angles are 55. So I know that this one's 55 and I know that this one's 55. So if I put that here, Orange equals 55 degrees. So now I need to work out my green. OK, so how am I going to work out my green? Well, I'm going to just work within the triangle because I know that two orange and one green will make a triangle, which is 180. So I'm going to do 55 add 55, which is 110. OK, and then I'm going to do 180, take away my 110, which is 70 degrees. So I know that my green angles are all 70. OK, so now what I can do is I can work out this outside angle here. OK, because remember, we've split that up. I'm going to I've labeled that one as a purple angle. So the purple angle is the 70 plus the 55 which is 125 degrees. 
So this, like the other way that I've shown you, is really helpful when you're coming to find missing angles in any type of triangle if you use your colours. Okay, find some questions and have a go.